So to service these, there ain't really a lot on them. Just the spark plug. You can either replace it or you can check the gap and clean it. There's a air filter underneath there, and there's a little bowl underneath the carb there. If you look, and that's like a contaminant filter sort of thing. So, so just clean that out. Have a look at the air filter and take the spark plug out, check the gap and clean it. So I'm just going to take the spark plug out. Need a bit of an extension on it. This is a 21mm socket. Not very tall. So it's looking a bit black, but don't look too bad. So I think it's supposed to be 0 0.67 to 8 for these, so get your feeler gauge. 0.7. So it's a little bit tight, but I'll just try and open it up. I'll just open that up a bit. Better, so it just wants to be gripping it, but you can still move it, so that's perfect. I would clean that up with a wire brush, but I forgot my wire brush, so I'll just clean that up before you refit it or replace it if you're worried about it. It's a BPR6ES. Now, these Andre engines mainly use that, but there is some differences, so check your manual for your one. I'm just going to put it back. You want to put it in by hand so you don't cross thread it. You do not want to cross thread these, otherwise, you'll be buying a new cylinder head. Once you've got it started, though, you can use your tools. Okay, that's that done. Now if you look under there, there's a little bowl. This one, it's your sediment tray. So I'll whip that off. Got a feeling it's going to be a 10 mil. Yep. So you're going to lose a bit of petrol. So you just want to check it. Helps if you turn the fuel off. <laughs> so check it for uh, water and dirt inside, clean it out and then put it back. I'm just going to turn that off and clean this fuel off. Okay, cleaned all that fuel up now, so I'm just going to whip this air filter off and have a look at it. There's two butterfly nuts. That 
is it. So there's your filter, this one's good. So the replacement, pretty recent. I don't think this machine's done a lot of hours anyway, neither, so. That's it, easy to service. I think that's why these engines are so reliable, just easy to service and easy to maintain and simple. Last thing now I will show you. Your oil. So your oil has to be level with that down there. It looks like it is. You just see it coming up there. So, there's actually a dipstick as well. 